Today we are discussing IOQM 2020 problem number 12. It's a geometry problem. If you want to read the problem, you can pause the video here and read the problem statement. I'll try to explain it with the diagram. So this is the diagram here. We are given two concentric circles centered at O and we are drawing the chords A, B, B, C, C, D and so on of the outer circle which are tangent to the inner circle. And we will continue drawing these chords till we come back to the point where we started. So how, what is the minimum number of chord we can draw? And also we are given the angle between A, B, A, B and B, C is 75 degree. So let us try to understand the key idea of this problem. The key idea of this problem is to understand the one complete rotation is equal to 2 pi. Now what is rotation? Let's say there is a point P which is moving on a circular arc or which is moving on a circle. So we moved P on a circle and this is the new position of P prime. So if we want to measure that how much the point P has moved that will be the angle theta. But what is this angle theta? This angle theta is actually the arc length of P P prime over the distance OP. So angle theta is equal to the arc length P P prime means the distance of point to image over OP which is the distance between point to center. Now on this radius OP any point is moving that same amount because like if we measure the angle here also if Q is a point on that same radius then the movement of Q will be here which is Q prime so the angle will be Q Q prime arc length Q Q prime arc over OQ and these two ratios will be same so in that way the angle stays same. Now if we start on a circle let's say this is the point P if we start here and if we start moving on the circle and if we come back to the original position then the angle made or the amount of rotation made will be the circle over the radius or the circumference of the circle over the radius which is actually 2 pi. So this is taking one complete rotation which is equal to 2 pi. We know circumference of the circle is 2 pi r over radius is r so that would be 2 pi. So the same thing can be done by taking some discrete turns as well. When we are moving a circle, moving on a circle, we are taking continuous turn. At every point we are taking a very small amount of turn. But if we don't do that, rather if we first come here by a straight line, then we take a turn and come here. So the turn that we actually made is this turn. Then if we take another turn, so actual turn we are making is this and so on. If we keep on doing this and we come back to our original point and then we face the same way we were initially facing, then that will be taking one complete turn again. So this sum of all these discrete turns must be equal to 2 pi. Now if you notice that these yellow lines creates a closed polygon. So walking through a closed polygon is basically taking one complete turn and this one complete turn will be equal to all of sum of all of its external angles. So that is the idea we are going to use in the problem. Now let us go back to the problem and start making some constructions. So first of all, we will join the center with all of these endpoints of the chords and now it is very easy to show that these triangles where this blue line is basically the perpendicular on this chord from the center. So it is very easy to show that these triangles are basically congruent triangles means they are copy of one another. All these triangles are congruent and th in that way we will be able to prove that the angles between any two chords this angle or this angle will always be equal. Now we were given that this angle was 75 degrees. 
So if we see that this angle will also be 75 degrees. And not only that, whenever we'll make such a chord, the angle between that chord and the previous chord will always be 75 degrees. So if we create this chord here, the angle created will be 75 degrees. So each time the turn we are actually making is the external angle, which is equal to 105 degree. A number of such turns will be equal to number of chords. So if we want n number of chords, then there will be n number of turns and each turn is equal to 105 degrees. So now it's very easy to create the equation. Some multiple of 105 which is 105 n should be equal to some multiple of 2 pi which is 360 degree because we want to take a complete rotation or some multiple of a complete rotation. So solving this equation we get n is equal to 24 m over 7 as we want the minimum possible value of n that would be possible and this n is definitely an integer because this n is number of chords so it is an integer so smallest possible value of n will be obtained if we put m equal to 7 and that gives us the value n equal to 24. So minimum number of chords we have to create to come back to the original point should be 24. Thank you for watching we will meet in the next video.